you should try this crazy Valheim setting. There's a lot of settings in Valheim, but there's only one that you desperately need to try. I'll not waste your time anymore because I know the sheer suspense of not knowing is killing you. Fatality. The setting is something you know and have seen called immersive mode, but if you haven't played it, you are missing out on some of the more better fun you have had playing Valheim since day one release. Oh yeah, it makes me so Remember day one release of Valheim, playing with your friends or solo with that tingly feeling in your body? Yeah, that's the feeling you will get playing this mode. No portals? Check. No map? Check. This mode changes nothing else that I know of except these two things. Now you might think this is some sort of joke, just two things, that's it, easy. Jokes on you, you slimy little average thinker. I jest. I know you know this is going to be rough. Heck, I spent the first half an hour of this mode accidentally circling back to the spawn because I'm an actual idiot. Uh, third time's the charm, we're back at spawn. Not enough wrinkles in my brain to tell right from left. Call my canine a werewolf, am I right? My fault, Vikings, but really, you should check out this game mode because it's insane. Immersive mode unlocks new ways that you must play and new ways to be aware of your surroundings. From creating dirt paths literally everywhere, to know how to get back home, to spending way more time doing things that usually take you not very long at all, like finding bosses. Now I won't straight up lie to you and tell you this is going to be some super fun and smiley gameplay the whole time. Yeah, we're just kind of sailing along, having a grand old time, and uh... This is actual gameplay footage here. The waters are getting a little rough, so I'm gonna take a seat. This is just a representation of how my life is going, and I feel like I wanted to give my Viking a little taste. Yeah. All right, good. It's been a nice journey. I'll see you guys later. I'm on my own path now. After about the Bronze Age, things start to get tedious. Sailing your way to the next biome and finding the next boss is rough. But there is a plus to this. If you enjoy building and packing up your things, then you should get used to doing so. Because once you leave an island to go search for some of the more endgame things, it's easier to make a whole new base. Which is great if you are someone like me who loves to build in this game. Now when you first start this mode, you will find yourself in a cool position. This little challenge surprisingly makes the game feel very fresh. And very new, even though you have played it a while. It's like that one show or game you wish you could take back and replay or watch just to experience it again. That's the feeling you will get while playing this mode. By the way, what is that show or movie for you? I'm gonna go the super easy answer to that and say the Dark Souls franchise. I would love to play those games again. Moving back to Valheim's immersive mode. You can make this mode more challenging if you are some sort of crazy person, but I would say that even just playing in this mode alone is enough to make your next playthrough special, especially if you are playing with your friends. Trying to figure out where things are at and how to keep track of your bases is an interesting obstacle to tackle. One thing I realized is that I was much more aware of the time of day as the game gets harder at nightfall. So if I was at base when the sky was maybe looking like it would turn night within the next few minutes, I wouldn't risk leaving. Something cool I like about playing this way is your map gets littered with torches and adds a utility to torches other than just decoration at your base. It feels like someone else is living on the island other than just you. To conclude this video, I will say I haven't yet beaten Valheim in this mode, but I plan to. The setting just had a great impact on my newest playthrough and I thought I would share it with you just in case you haven't tried it out yet or if you have been thinking about doing it but haven't yet. Try it out Viking, you might find the freshness you have been looking for. That being said, thanks for stepping into my place of filth otherwise known as my channel. I'm Bear of Curses and enjoy your company so please subscribe and stick around. I'll see you next time.